you're printing directly on the build plate like we have this door here, uh, you're going to end up with a little bulge around the very, very bottom for the first couple of layers. And that's going to be relative to the um, the, the, the burn-in layers uh, that you, apl you apply. And the burn-in layers basically are the, the, the layers that you overexpose that help um, really stick your, your, your prints to the build plate. Um, but because of that, um, the, the, you're exposing those layers longer, there's a little bit more light bleed and it bleeds over to the uh, pixels next to it and uh, you, you get a little, you get extra material on the bottom. And I have a video um, on our how-to on how to uh, clean up the doors and remove uh, and remove that elephant foot from any part. Um, it's easy to do when the resin is uh, uncured. You just wear gloves, cut it off with a knife, and it's very, very small. And it doesn't really affect the quality of um, 3D printed parts like our 3D printed our 3D printed walls because they have a sort of a rough texture to them anyways. So... Uh, but there's a way to get rid of it uh, in Lychee Slicer Pro, and I'm pretty sure that this is going to come to Cheetah Box Pro. Um, and uh, it's in, and I've been playing around with it a little bit today. And if I go into my resin settings here, uh, it's this compensation mode right here. And the tooltip says it's change these values to compensate for the resin shrinkage expansion, but also the and also the elephant foot effect. Using this function will slightly affect the quality of the fine details of your prints. So for what we're printing, this this isn't going to have any negative effects. So we just to turn it on. And initially when I turned it on, uh, I set it to point, uh, point 0.4. So it's basically half a millimeter. You kind of have to kind of guess how much you want it to sort of compensate. And, uh, and print some, I did some little, some little test print pieces, which I'm going to show you up close. And um, they, just to be able to sort of see what the elephant foot uh, is, is looking like and to see if the settings would work. And initially I set it to, to a positive value and it added material. Uh, and uh, then I realized actually this will shrink or expand. So if I put in a negative value of 0.5, uh, that's going to subtract ideally half a millimeter. Um, and I think, you know, based on my results, which I'm going to show you now, I think I could probably bring that, that number up a little bit. So um, Leachy Slicer Pro is a really good deal. It's a great piece of software. It's, you know, in my opinion, far superior to Cheetah Box. And, um, you know, if you're printing a lot of resin stuff like I'm doing, uh, I recommend it. Um, uh, very, very highly. Uh, this, this software is really excellent, it's well developed, and it um, is constantly full of new features like this that, that uh, uh, continue to improve and eliminate problems um, that we face with uh, 3D printing and resin. Okay, let's take a look at these three pieces right here. So these pieces are printed in the, um, with the, 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 the standard resin co uh, compensation settings um, in Lychee Slicer. Um, and so there's a, there's always going to be a little lip here on the bottom of the piece. Okay, and that little lip is caused by the fact that the, as you overexpose the bottom layers, the light bleeds out in the pixels, and it exposes pixels next to it, or the space of pixels next to it, and it creates this elephant foot. And that's required for uh, bed adhesion. And that's known as the elephant's foot, and it's been a sort of a general problem of printing pieces for precision onto the build plate. We're talking about uh, our resin walls here for our characters, uh, for our wall set. So, uh, you know, if there's a little lip here, the, really the only issue is the two pieces wouldn't fit nicely side by side. But you can always cut that off with, uh, you know, take a sharp knife and just slice off that piece, especially while the resin is um, uh, soft and uncured. Just wear gloves when you do that. Um, so that's a that that there looks like it's about 0.4.5 millimeters. See the lip there. And the first time I ch I changed the setting, I put the setting at uh, point. I put the resin compensation at 0.4, and it got bigger. And then I realized because because the resin I checked the set this the, the note on the setting, and it says that you can compensate for the resin to be larger or smaller. So I, obviously I made the the lips larger, which is actually interesting because you could play with that number and do something to uh, create an effect that you wanted on a base, maybe you want a lip, but that's too big. And then I went the other way, and this one here, I can't even tell which is the bottom of the top there, I can tell a little bit on that side there. There's a little bit of a lip, inside lip there, I can catch it with my fingernail, but it's very, very, very minor. And that's at 0.5, and I wouldn't even bother trying to trim that on, a, on one of my pieces. Uh, because you know they're stone walls, they're they're not meant to, to look different than that. Um, it's certainly better than the than the than this than this stock setting. So you set that at minus 0 0.5. I could probably go to minus 0 0.6 or minus 0 0.7, and that would give me a better look. It's maybe okay if they're a little bit beveled on the bottom. So <clears throat> for that reason, um, th this is th this is the preferred setting, and Leachy slicer would be the preferred slicer. Um, then it's also important uh, for my workflow, wham bam uh, plate. 
this is one of the best that build the wham bam build plate is one of the best things that I can put on here for printing on the plate because you just flex it and the pieces pop right off. It's so easy. So if you're going to print on the plate and you don't have a wham bam plate, I kind of recommend that you get one of those. So I'm going to use the setting uh, going forward. You know, I like I really like the the, the quality of that, um, and I think it, it gets a nice clean look, and it's going to look really good. And I might increase my tolerance here to one millimeter because I would actually like to have this a little slight dip in at the bottom because my pieces are all made out of stone and wood and, and bent metal and stuff like that. So um, I might just uh, go a little bit more with that that setting and, and put it up higher to one millimeter. So, uh, and if you don't have uh, Lychee Slicer Pro, um, and uh, this feature isn't available in 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 in, uh, in Cheeto Box yet, I'm sure that it will because Cheeto is at least to is trying to play catch up now and try to get their their software up to the same level of quality as Lychee. So I'm pretty sure they're going to integrate this soon. Um, but if you don't have access to this, you can always still just take your pieces, and uh, you can just take your 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 hobby knife. And you can just clean them off and like I have instructions for this in another video about how I prep the pieces uh, just make sure that if you're handling uncured resin that you wear your rubber gloves